Hello dummies, it's Mike Smeagol again. I'm here making a part four to my behind the scenes series, titled, My Making Of, My Making Of Videos. Where I explain the making of the videos where I make videos explaining the making of my videos. Purely an educational video, we're not gonna have any fun here today, so let's just jump right in and let's just play some of my old videos and go over them. There's only three or four things I can say about Obama, none of them good. My apologies, that is the wrong video. Here we go. So let's start with my very first making of video, the making of anxiety. I really had no structure set out when I started this video. I just kind of made it up as I went along, but I liked what I made, so I stuck with it. As you see in later videos, I progressed. I got more comfortable in front of the camera, and I learned what to do in editing in order to keep people more visually entertained. Now let's go back to my original video. Like, bro, what the f is wrong with you, dude? Like, why aren't you moving your, move your face, dude? Move your eyebrows. But as you know, I've made three of these videos already. They do have somewhat of a consistent feel and look to them, and what that comes down to is three things. The camera, the audio, and the lighting. I said lighting, there we go. And what I plan on doing right now is breaking down those three elements so that you fully understand what goes into keeping these videos looking consistent. Camera first. I shoot everything on my Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro, set at ProRes HQ 4.6K. You might ask why I like to shoot 4.6K. Huge files, huge pain in the ass, I understand. However, in these videos, I like to zoom in and zoom out and retain full quality. Well, what would it look like if I shot like a terrible 1080p file? And here I am now shooting in a low quality 1080p. Here I am side by side with a 4.6k file. Let's zoom in on my face and see the difference. And that's why I use 4.6k. As for what I attach to the camera, it's a Rokinon 24mm f1.4 lens. And I only use that lens. It keeps everything looking exactly consistent. So that's all the technical stuff that happens within the camera over there. But obviously I'm over here and there's no one over there. So how do I monitor what's happening? Well, I have a monitor right here. I'll show you on my cell phone. See, from my perspective, the camera's here and here's the monitor. The monitor allows me to see the frames per second, the shutter speed, the iris, which is actually manual, if I'm recording or not, the ISO, the white balance, the tint, the battery level, the histogram, the time left, and I have my audio meters. All this talk about cameras though has me actually kind of concerned with my cameraman. He didn't show up to work today. I'm gonna have to actually let you go. F you. Oh yeah, that's right, I fired him. He's probably dead by now, but let's see if he's up to anything. So you know the routine. Jump on the Bing, type in Dr. Daniel Thompson, and let's just see what this loser's up to, you know? What the f is this? Small Town Thompson, Enterprise Scars. This song goes out to everybody out there who lost everything. That's their job, their woman, and their pride. Cause I know I have. Um, I moved so very far from Enterprise rent a car. Now you'll find me at the bar. Wishing I was a star. Drumming on my guitar. Talking about my many scars. Salad bar, no caviar. Michael Smeagol, f you. This nearly brought tear to my eye. This man knows what's up. Thank you, Daniel Thompson, for this amazing piece of art. That sounds like some shit Aaron Jaffe would say, actually. Well, now that we made it through that bullshit, we can actually continue with the lesson. Let's talk about audio. Audio is probably the easiest thing I have to do. It is simply a Sennheiser 416 attached via an XLR cable directly into the camera and held in place above my head with a mic stand. The thing is, audio is not really that hard to do. If you do it correctly, you don't notice it. If you do it wrong, it ruins the whole video though. Right now I'm using a very high quality shotgun mic right above my head right here, but... What if I was to switch to the mic on the camera? What if my entire video sounded like this? Instead of this. What if it sounded like this? Instead of this. Do you hear the difference? It makes a huge difference in the production quality of your entire piece. Up next we have lighting. And actually in these videos I use six different sources of light. I have a key light, a fill light, a hair light, a light on the computer, and two background lights. But overall, it's only three different types of lighting. For the fill light, hair light, and computer light, 
I use a Lightstorm Mini 20C, which I have set up to be powered off of a portable cell phone charging bank, which honestly works amazingly, and for hours. And for the background lights, I use two Yongnuo YN360 version 2 lights. These RGB lights can put out red, green, blue, purple, yellow, or teal, and last for hours. And for my key light, I actually use my computer. I found out that if I dim and raise the brightness of my computer, I have very easy control over the brightness on my face. And the thing is, I can spend all day telling you what lights I use and why I use them, but really, unless I turn them off and show you what it just looks like with the normal lights on, you're not really gonna understand. So let me hit the house lights. And here you go. Here is an accurate visualization of what it is to change the lighting in this environment. Same audio, same camera, same everything, just the normal house lights on. And this is the difference. You know, the more I think about this, the more upset I am that Dr. Thompson made this diss track on me. It seems very unfair. You know, he did lose his house and his job and his wife, but he didn't have to swear at me. So I'm gonna call up Matt C, my buddy, the best rapper in Baltimore, and I'm gonna collab with him and I'm gonna make a diss track back at Dr. Thompson. And I'm gonna get him back. I'm gonna call him right now. Sound like some, some Radio Los Santos. What up, CJ? What's up, yo? Yo, it's that one white boy I was telling you about, yo. I mean, me and him haven't talked in a long time, but it'll be it'll be nice to catch up. Met this nigga at a fucking peace rally in DC and never wanted to punch a nigga more in my life. He's my best friend, actually. That's not my man's. That's not my man's. <laughs> He might be busy, he does actually work a lot, you know? Nigga, I'm calm, I'm no, calm. But yo, when you gotta understand, when this nigga comes up in a conversation, nigga, I get turned up. You have reached the voicemail box. It actually, uh, it actually just went to voicemail, but uh, I'll call him back. All jokes aside, you're like, tell me what's really on your mind, you're like, why the fuck you hate this nigga, yo? I don't know, man, just sometimes before I go to bed at night, yo, yeah. I grab a cup of water, man, my favorite blanket kneel beside my bed, yo, and I really pray to Jesus, yo, that this nigga pulls up so I can fuck him up. He's literally my best friend, so. Bitch ass nigga. Yo, Smeegs, what's good? Oh, hey, Matt. <laughs> what's up, man? It's good to hear from you, man. What are, what, uh, what are you up to right now? Um, I'm all right, man. I'm just uh, in the studio working with a new artist, you know, trying to crank out some hits. That's awesome, dude. You know, I'm actually, I'm just calling you because I'm trying to get on a track with you. You know, I got this by this guy on YouTube, you know, this country singer, and uh, I'm trying to get back at him. So, are you possibly free right now? Could I come by the studio? This, this nigga's trying to come by the studio and work with me. This could be my chance to f him up. Yo, chill, yo. It's not that No, you mean chill? What do you mean just I don't f with him? You just heard me say that. Are you there? I can't really hear you too well. You should tell that nigga to kill himself. I got an idea, right? Look, Smeegs, I, I think you're going about this whole thing wrong. I got an idea, though. If you don't want somebody to fuck with you, this one, man. You let that nigga know you're about business, man. Join a gang, man. I'm telling you, nigga. If you join a gang, he ain't never gonna diss you again. And they gonna be shook. That makes sense. It makes sense. He gonna be shook every time he hears Smeegs, and they gonna be shaking in his sandals. I promise you, my nigga. Just you gotta. I know it's a, it's a rap game, dude. It's hip hop. Hip hop. You know, you gotta keep it a little hip hop. I know how. I know how it is, yo. I know. But hold on. You said you got this by a country singer. How the f you get this by a country singer? Yeah, it's actually this guy I know named Dr. Daniel Thompson. You said what? Well, he goes by Small Town Thompson. You know, he used to work at Enterprise Rent a Car, and then he left, and he went to work at my job here. No, you he, good, was, he was my cameraman. Uh, I had to fire him. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. Um, so yeah, you just uh, let me know when you uh, join that gang, man. Maybe we can work something out. Dude, absolutely. I'm gonna get right on that. You know, hi. Uh, hello. I guess his uh his phone must have died or something. Oh, fuck him, man. Put that beat on. One more time. Okay, so I guess we gotta join a gang. Let's just jump online and see what we can find. Let's just search, uh, gangs near me. Looks like the closest one is the 36th Street Murderers. Well, they look like a nice bunch. They're dressed very nice. These guys even made a recruitment video. We gotta watch this thing. It's 36th Street Murderers. How y'all feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we the hardest gang out, nigga. You ever see a gang with a sponsorship, nigga? Nah. I ain't think so. We murder niggas, murder. nigga. Murder. Yeah, yeah. Last week, last week, this week, kill a nigga. Week, kill nigga. Week, kill nigga. Kill nigga. I killed a nigga, killed a nigga today week, before this video. Use. What you talking about? Shit, we the hardest yeah. niggas yeah. out. Yeah. Who try? Who try yeah. join us? You can't yeah. join us unless you the hardest yeah. nigga out. Yeah. If you ain't with yeah. smoke, then go yeah. your ass home, nigga. Yeah. 
Well, that certainly seems like a gang that will impress Matt C, so... White boy. Oh, actually, I saw you guys are taking applications for your gang. I'd love to join. Oh, you want to join the gang? I'd love to. You really try to join us, huh? Okay, okay. Now, usually on Sunday, you feel me? I have you go kill a nigga. You feel me? But today, I'm feeling nice. You feel me? I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself today. Generous. So today, we're gonna challenge you to a dance battle. Yeah. You, you be dance, in the dance battle, and you can join the gang. You feel me? Oh, 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 I pulled up, go hard with my day once, go hard with my main niggas. I glowed up, now all these hoes changed on me. Yeah, all these hoes changed, nigga. I pulled up, go hard with my day once, go hard with my main niggas. I glowed up, now all these hoes changed on me. Yeah, all these hoes changed, nigga. I pulled up, go hard with my day once, go hard with my main Me, nigga. Oh, God, no. I never met a nigga so powerful, nigga. Oh, God, okay. Where'd you learn that, nigga? No. Wu Tang, nigga. Take this, nigga. This is yours now, nigga. Take my gang, and you earned it, nigga. I'm gonna die now. I'm gonna die. Yo, cut it, 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 yo, cut it, cut it, yo. Yo, what's good? Hey man, guess what? I actually killed a man and joined the gang. I'm ready to come over. You ready right now? You did what? Whew. It's been a long day. But uh, my, my call with Matt C dropped. But I'll give him a call back later. I'm sure he'll be willing to make that song. Um, but maybe the best course of action right now is for me to explain to you guys how exactly I did everything that you just saw. So let's start with like Dr. Thompson's music video. It's only 50 something seconds long, but you do have to understand the preparation that went into that. I had to find a beat, take the beat to the studio, and actually record the track. This song goes out to everybody out there who lost everything. That's their job, their woman, and their pride. Because I know I have. Then listen back to it. That shit sounds terrible. This song goes out to everybody out there who lost everything. Then work with the producer to get it mastered. And then actually go out and shoot the music video. With the conversation with Matt C, I had to actually sit down with him and explain the entire situation to him. Well, he was my cameraman. He worked for Enterprise Rent a Car and then he quit Enterprise to. <laughs> this is so elastic. <laughs> but it seems like once he got it, he actually really liked it. <laughs> yeah, this is hilarious, yo. I'm sorry. And this nigga's really in the booth, yo. I can't <laughs> and we had a lot of fun filming. We actually shot for five straight hours of improv. Like, yo, this nigga's really built like a Mick douchebag in a super size. <laughs> <laughs> Met that nigga back in 06 and ain't shit ain't been same since. I'm sorry. <laughs> no bullshit, yo. This nigga got on GTA and drove the speed limit and everything. My nigga stopped at all the red lights, all that. My nigga, he a hoe. Nigga got one star talking about, yo, give me the cheat code. This nigga looks like he fucks fat chicks for fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a line that's just uh, I feel so bad. I'm sorry, Mike. The same thing with the King Vader gang skit. I basically gave these guys the situation and allowed them to do what they do, which is be hilarious. No, nah, bro. He killer. wants to join the gang. You, he's material. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, he Look at his boots. He looks like a snitch. Nigga, he built like Ryan Reynolds, bro. You saw Deadpool. 
That boo's amazing production. I mean, I don't, I don't really think that's, the that's a smart idea. You know, he's white. We, we're not racist here. I'm gonna die in peace now, nigga, knowing that white boy beat me, nigga. This game is yours now, nigga. This land is yours. This land is mine. This land is yours. <laughs> <laughs> it was just all positive vibes and a very good time, honestly. Damn boy, I'm like the Matrix. Bro, came in on some Drake shit. Drake shit. But one of the biggest questions I'm getting from people that know me is how did I even get involved with King Vader in the first place? This guy is a pretty well-known Instagram celebrity, so how did I earn this? Well, like I've stated before, I used to be a professor at Stevenson University. One of my students in my class is a member of the comedy group on YouTube, Wolf Graphic, and he asked me to help him make a video. And so I said yes. He brought one of his other Wolf Graphic friends to the video shoot, and I guess I impressed him with the quality of the product. So he introduced me to someone who had slightly more followers, Young Astro. So I shot a video for Young Astro, and he introduced me to someone with more followers, Taz. So I shot a video for Taz, and I guess I impressed him, because he then introduced me to his best friend, King Vader. And I guess I must have impressed him as well because we've been working together ever since. And it's because over the course of months that I built this relationship, that I was able to get him in this skit. Basically, after a decade of being a filmmaker, if there's really only one piece of advice I can give to any aspiring filmmaker out there, it's this. Do not be afraid to put in the work, even if you do not see a direct paycheck in your line of sight, because most likely there's a paycheck right around the corner, such as when I wrote, shot, and directed a Peeping Tom film that cost me a lot of money, but I ended up selling it to PBS, or when I took the initiative to make the film Anxiety, which got my channel monetized and made me a lot of money. And it's the same reason now why I'm pouring my heart and soul into making these behind the scenes videos. Honestly, I've spent about the last month of my life completely dedicated to making this video. So as you can see, I've put a lot more work into my more recent videos. But that doesn't mean people don't like my old videos. In fact, if you go back to my old videos and scroll down through the comments, it's just constant nice things. I don't have any haters, you know? You can scroll all the way down to the bottom and what the fuck, dude? Fucking Aaron Jaffe again. <sighs> Terrible production quality, this is basically stop motion. You know who can do stop motion? Six-year-olds with access to a webcam. You need Jesus in your life. Well, you know, we're, just gonna, we're gonna do something about this. I'm gonna find you. Oh, okay, okay. I see what's going on here. what's your emergency? Yes, cyber police? Give me the address of Aaron Jaffe. But you didn't expect to see me, huh? What? You know who I am? I know who you are. I know who you are. What? You're gonna make me do it. How many times you skip leg day, man? Jesus. <laughs> Next time it's you. One more mean comment, and I'll be back for you, I promise. Don't give me that look. Don't make me come back. So when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I was going to have to kill two people today. But at least Matt will like me now. And he'll make that song with me. And I just got a notification that one of the things I'm subscribed to on YouTube just posted a new video. So that should make me happy. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> yeah! Dr. Thompson on the beat! About to fuck it up! Yeah! Never heard a country song like this! Dr. Thompson, Matt C, he doesn't collab with anyone but me! Pay attention! Fucking bitches roll hide! I'm known worldwide! Always sitting ringside, IG on that verified! Yeah! What? That's how we do! That's how we smack her on the backside, leaving bitches satisfied. Money on that high tide, hugging bitches all the time. Yeah, what? That's how I do. Yeah, that's how I do. Yeah. Well, I grew up in a small town, bitch. Pull your drawers down. What? Come on, Matt C. Get on the track. You don't fuck with anyone but me. We're about to beat it up. <laughs> 